Welcome back guys, this is the final final time of the HyperX OC takeover here, the season 3 at the HyperX headquarters in California. I am Truthman and I will be debriefing with you guys all the scores and the final ranking of these special competitions. I have uh, right by my side Mr. Massman and Peter from HWBot. Thanks for being on the show my friend. Uh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. You've, so you've been the judge at this competition. There were three stages over the past two days. Um, not talking about the final ranking yet. What was your impression about the event? Uh, it was a very nice event. J just to be uh, just to be clear, I was there mainly giving the technical support for Christian, who was doing all the scores and all the updating and all the management. So a uh, big shout out to Christian for uh, for managing all that. So for the guest that doesn't know Christian, it's Christian Ney, and that's usually the guys going, uh, the guy going all the way over all the scores in the database and making sure that everything is legit, everything is uh, validated and uh, going well. So indeed, cheers to him. Very nice job for for you. So Peter, what is the final ranking of this Ifrex OC Takeover Season Three World Final? Well, we can look at it online. <laughs> so. Winner is Lucky Noob from Indonesia. Woohoo, Lucky Noob, congratulations. You did extremely great right there. In second place, Extreme Addict, the winner of the two previous editions of the HyperX OC Takeover. And then in third place, another Indonesian overclocker, Hazan. So that's a quite massive takeover of the top three by the uh, Indonesian overclocker the displaying their, their skills in, uh, in this overclocking competition. Mm -hmm. Uh, what are the uh, the other ranking for the other guys that did participate? So in fourth place, there is Dr. Weiss from uh, from South Africa, and then in fifth place, Fugger from the USA. In sixth place, Nacho Arroyo from Argentina, and seventh place, Gunslinger also from the USA. In eighth place, uh, we have Joe Br from uh, for Joe, Nine, Joe Ninety Br from Brazil. In ninth place, Arsenino from Italy, and then um, not having having actually made the event, but still in tenth place, uh, Splay from the USA. So that's quite a, an impressive score. Uh, stay tuned here on uh, Overclocking TV. We will be debriefing with each winner of each stage, and the, and uh, we have the chance that Lucky Noob, Extreme Addict, and Asan will be here with us, as well as Doctor Wiz, because all of them won something today. It's actually the first time Lucky Noob win an Extreme Overclocking competition uh, live, right? He, I think, he won MOA in 2008. Oh, that was the very first one. Yeah, actually, that's true. But for the past. For the past five years, then... No, it's seven years. Seven maybe. years. <laughs> Damn, man, I'm very bad at calculating today. Do you, no? do you, need, do you want a drink, a coffee? <laughs> yeah, I need, I need water. <laughs> so, um, uh, Peter, did you expect this outcome in this competition? Well, I think before the competition started, everyone was joking uh, joking about the fact that Extreme Addict would win three times in a row, would win again. And then by the end of the first day, everyone was sort of afraid that Extreme Addict would indeed win three times in a row. Um, the, the interesting part about the, the, what we saw today was that there was a lot more competition from different guys coming uh, compared, to, to compared to yesterday. So uh, Dr. Weez was, uh, was, um, had a, had a pretty poor CPU for the first two stages, but then really show what he could do in, uh, in, the, in the third round. And um, yeah, yeah, you know, it was, it was very interesting to see on the second day, there was a lot more, a lot more competition. That was actually insane today to see the, the, the battle between the guys and the ranking were actually changing quite uh, quite a lot depending on the score that were submitted. Um, and that, that was influencing, of course, the final uh, ranking of the competitions. While on the few uh, stage from yesterday, stage one and stage two, at some points uh, in XTU, we had three guys with the same score. So that was extremely tight, but not changing much on the ranking. While here on stage three, that was changing a lot in the point and a lot in the ranking as well. Yeah. So that was quite interesting to see this kind of um, of competitions right here. We will be debriefing with all the overclockers that made something extremely well today. So that means looking up Extreme Addict, Asan, and Dr. Weez in the next few minutes. Thank you, Peter, for uh, announcing this live. Thank um, you very much for having me. Once great again. job by HWBot at uh, 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 making sure that all the uh, score were valid, uh, you and Christian Ney, especially uh, at, the, at this event. So we hope to uh, see you guys again in the future. Do you yeah. want to say something to all the guys on the live before going out? Uh, thank you for watching, I suppose. Uh, I've, I've heard very good things about the stream, by the way. So congratulations on that one. It's all about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll, so, uh, so we'll take out. a short break and come back with the overclockers for the debrief before the award ceremony.